Okay, hello and welcome. Today we're doing Blender, the beta version of Blender 2.80 that was created December 28th of 2018. And we're going to do yet another projection paint, but this time we're going to do something hopefully useful. Alright, so we don't need no stinking defaults. Alright, so opening a new as a, a file and I'm going to choose before I choose the, the file I'm going to turn off load UI and down here and the reason for doing that is that loads the user interface as it was basically when it was saved which is under Blender 2.79 don't want that I want this one I want to use the 2.80 guy because that's what we're doing. We're messing with 2.80. So basically, this is the Avastar mesh version that I just did a hold on. So I'm going to control Z back to just, just going to use the head. We don't need anything else but the head for this particular exercise. Okay, so I need to create, as you've seen in the past, if you've watched my previous videos, I need a secondary UV map for the projection paint. So there's the base, the one that was provided by the Avastar folks for their mesh materials. And then we're going to do a projection paint unwrap of the cheek. So let's get started into the UV editing. Okay, so if we look at the, back to the original and select all, and we're going to do, we're going to end up needing a face. There is the default or the template for a head in our Second Life avatars. That's what they look like. So if you've gone out and found template files, You'll see something that's weird looking like that. Okay, so we need to get an unwrap going for our project from view. Okay, so we do an Alt H. I'm sorry, Alt A. We check that. Yes, right. So I do a B for a box select and select the our cheek here. You have to be careful. Now go into the eyeball because if you do you're going to end up selecting stuff on the other side. We don't want that at the moment. Okay so I'm going to do a C selection and pick a few more here. Plenty. Okay that's plenty. Hit enter to get out of that mode. Did we get any of the backside? No we didn't. Okay, now we want to do a unwrap check from view bounds and open up an image. So here I have just a butterfly. I went out and found a picture of a butterfly, opened it up in GIMP and deleted all the background information and make sure you have an alpha background and I deleted everything well mostly everything obviously we got a little bit of green I don't think we're gonna worry about that now we gotta see if we can't figure out how to get this size correctly because we don't want this butterfly to straddle this whole area here in order to do that we have to go in and do some shading so we need to turn on nodes Delete the default entry and do a shift to A, add texture, image texture. And then find our butterfly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's go back to UV editing and see if we can't see that butterfly. 
by turning on the shading. Yes, we can. There's our butterfly. Is that weird looking or what? Don't understand why it shows on the eyeballs, but it does. Don't care. Okay. So go over here, select our, do an A to select the uh, UV and a S to scale. And what I'm keeping an eye on is this guy right in here. I want that guy to fit. So I want to do a scale. And let's move it. About there, Alt H. And do a grab. Let's see if I can't make that wing a little more pointy. Looks good. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at right there. To move that around, trying to ignore the rest of that stuff. So that appears to be, yeah, that's all the stuff on the back side. Don't care about that stuff. Okay, we're good. Now we have it sized, we have it positioned. Now we can do some texture painting. Okay, so we need to go in and say single image, create a canvas. Okay. Generated type, eh. Okay, okay, pick okay. And there's our default entry there. And we need, oh, got to make sure we go back to our base map. Because if you don't get the right one, it's going to be ugly. Not going to be pretty. Now, for some crazy reason, it's lost its alpha mode. So... Here's a couple of tidbits I need to change. I want to change that curve to sharp. Change it over here to erase alpha. And do a fill. Oh, it's going to change the curve again. Yep, it did. Change the curve to fill. Hit the strength to 100. Up, oh, and I forgot to do erase alpha. There we go. Man, oh man, this looks like something out of a chainsaw massacre. All right, so now we need to do the clone. Clone from an image, UV map, and from the butterfly go to the cheek and it probably changed the curve again yes it did go back to the curve okay we got I'll double check everything we got single image canvas yada 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 clone yep, yep we're set now all we gotta do is paint and there's our butterfly. You know what, this is going to turn out to be in the wrong place on my avatar, but that's okay. Oh, so now here's a tidbit. If you start wandering off too far and you get leftovers like that, you, theoretically, you should be able to go through and do uh, draw and then erase alpha and go like so. It doesn't seem to work properly. It, well, okay, let me do control C back out of there. Okay, it 
doesn't go away from here, but yet it goes away there, as you can see. And, of course, it, it changed the default strength. But that's okay, because this is what we needed to work. This is what we need to work with here. All right, we're just about there. So we want to go through, as we can see, he's telling us that we have an unsaved image. So we want to do a save as, save our PNG file, save as. And now we can go over to Second Life and upload it. Okay, so here I am. Do a build, upload, upload image. There's our canvas that we saved a moment ago. Now this is kind of important that you make sure that it looks pretty close to, well, it has your image there and then that checkered format, which is what they use to indicate alpha. So let's call it butterfly tat. Upload it. And for some reason, my response time is terrible. There it is. Okay. New. Okay, this is, took me a while to find this. So while you're looking at edit outfit, you go new clothes, new tattoo, and you get this wonky thingy here, head tattoo, take that guy and drag it over there, and come on, you can do it, there we go. Now let's do a save as. Butterfly tat, and yeah, as I was afraid of, it's a little bit close to the head there, but, yeah, that's a, wait, what? Oh, I guess it's time for me to go. All right, so thanks for watching, and if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe, and it would be nice if you hit like. Thanks. Bye.